13.7 billion years ago. The Big Bang is the hottest thing that ever happens in the cosmos. But it's coal that turns that primal energy into a universe of atoms, stars, and planets. Right after the Big Bang, things were incredibly hot. So hot that the very atoms that we know today didn't exist. They just would have disintegrated because it was too warm out. So really, it was a process of cooling down over time that gave us the universe we had. And in a sense, the story of the universe is the story of cooling down. Billions of years later, when our own solar system takes shape, Earth forms in a narrow band where the perfect level of coldness allows liquid water to exist. The prerequisite for life. So the idea of coldness itself runs right across big history, from the creation of the universe itself, to the creation of stars, to the, the, the creation of the Earth itself, which appeared in just the right degree of coldness for us. But the cold that created the physical universe will ultimately bring it to an end. Because the same physics that cause a melting ice cube to draw heat from a glass of water exist everywhere. Stars and galaxies will slowly dissipate into the cold emptiness of space. Eventually, stars die. Temperatures drop. Atoms spread out. In a sense, the story of big history is a story of of starting extremely hot in the Big Bang and moving slowly towards extremely cold. Because in countless billions of years in the future, it's going to get so cold that there are no gradients. There's no difference between hot and cold. And in a universe born in a blaze of heat, cold will rule forever. <laughs> 